If I have a thousand and I multiply by a thousand, I will get one million. So a thousand times a thousand is a million. Therefore, one million divided by one thousand is a thousand. Now, let's do this with scientific notation. When you have six zeros, you can express that as one times ten to the six power. Likewise, a thousand can be represented as one times ten to the third. There's an understanding here that these are glued together. You can think of that as like one number. And therefore, when I divide this, I should get 1,000, or it depends on the calculator and the settings. I'll either get 1 times 10 to the third or 1,000. Same number, expressed two different ways. One other thing I should mention is on the calculator, sometimes scientific notation is represented by times 10 to the, this sort of button, and other times it's represented by an E, actually EE. -E. Other times, like on the sharp, it is EXP. These all are for scientific notation, and they all mean times 10 to the power. But again, we're talking about a number that is glued together. All right, let's look at a few different calculators. An oldie but goodie here. So we're going to do 1 times 10 to the 6 divided by 1 times 10 to the 3rd we get 1,000. 1 times 10 to the 6 divided by 1 times 10 to the 3rd equals 1,000. My current favorite of this style of calculator, unfortunately not sold in the United States, 1 times 10 to the 6 divided by 1 times 10 to the 3rd, 1,000. 1 times 10 to the 6 divided by 1 times 10 to the 3rd equals 1,000. 1 times 10 to the 6 divided by 1 times 10 to the 3rd equals 1,000. 1 times 10 to the 6. I can't hit divided. I got to go over divided. That's our first clue that something's a little strange. Times 10 to the 3rd equals 1 billion. What's going on? That doesn't even make sense, which in one sense you're right. It, it's terrible because it's very much a break in the convention of how these calculators handle scientific notation. So what's going on though is the calculator is doing 1 times 10 to the 6. So it's doing 1 times a million. Then it's dividing by 1. It's just doing order of operations. A million divided by one is still a million. Then it's multiplying a million times 10 to the third power, which is a thousand. So it's doing one million times 1,000, and it's correctly telling you one billion. The problem is it's very confusing because when you use this key, there's an understanding that you're in scientific notation. You're not just multiplying. You're not just doing times 10 to the sixth power right? But on this calculator, that's what you're doing. That's why when you hit divide, it's still up there. The safest way to handle scientific notation on this calculator is going to be to use parentheses. 1 times 10 to the 6th, go over, close it, divide, open parenth, times 10 to the 3rd, over, close parentheses. When you do it that way, you'll get the right answer. The other option, if you're just doing something simple like this, is to use the fraction key. 1 times 10 to the 6th, go down. 1 times 10 to the 3rd, enter. 1,000. That is a oops, in my opinion, with this new calculator. And it's something to watch out for.